Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you how to tame a giant honeybee with an oil jar. The perfect way to do it is throw the jar on top of a hive, so it looks like a sombrero. Then light it and run away quickly before the bees can get you. At this point, the oil fire is damaging the hive. It will break it down and a giant queen bee will come out. The attack bees will only follow you for a short distance, so run out of range until you lose aggro. And that leaves behind a giant queen honeybee. At the time of filming this, the flame arrows are bugged and won't set the oil on fire. So I'm forced to use a flamethrower to light it if it's out of range. Just go back onto the ramp. Next, put your simple kibble on the zero key of your hotbar, as that's what you'll be feeding the bee with. Then run up to the bee and quickly press the E key many times until you get to it. And there you go, you've tamed it. If you thought that was fast, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Now it's not quite as simple as that, as there's a technique to it. So I'm going to show you some of the clips from the two days of testing, of what works and what doesn't. When you burn a hive, the queen bee will drop down and move forward. So what doesn't work is if you put the oil underneath the hive, or at the back of it, or if you use more than one jars on the hive, as that will give too much damage and kill the queen bee. The oil was underneath and the queen got fried. The oil was underneath, Look for the death message in the top centre of the screen. And the giant queen bee died again. Here the oil is at the back of the hive and slightly angled down. Let me just move that away. If you throw the oil jar in the wrong place, you need to wait five minutes for the oil to vanish and you can throw another one. We've got no death message there, but there's one queen bee there and another one there. And the last one, our oil ended up at the back again. Set it on fire. Run off. And watch the top middle of the screen. And there's a queen death message. So don't throw the oil behind or under the hive. Here I'm throwing the oil in the top right. And set it on fire. Wish your flame arrows are working. Get out of range if I can't get you. There's one death message. But you can see a queen bee flying off on fire. Wasn't enough to kill it. So I've got one out of two that time. This time the oil's at the side in the front. Mostly at the side though. Set it on fire and run. He's dying. Butcher's going after the pickings. It better be hive itself, or it could buzz off. And there's a big mama bee flying around. Right, this time I'm going to use bug spray to see if I can stop the bees attacking me. Got my simple kibble, put it on my hot bar. Let's crouch down. I've got ghillie armor on. Let's try and be a bit sneaky. Now I could have fed it then, but it was too quick. Move that away. And I've stayed too close to it, so it won't let me feed it anymore. And even though I've got bug spray on, the attack bees are still coming after me. So from there, I thought I'd change in tactic. Get in front of a bee, wait till it comes towards me. Then run in and feed it quick. That seemed to work really well. Now let's get onto some times when I tame it. Fun hive inside. Throw the jar above the hive. There we go, that'll do. Set it on fire. And do a runner. Bees coming after you. Get out of range. And they stopped. Go back. Hive's gone. There was no death message. Have a look around. And there is a queen bee flying off in the distance. 
Now it's heading up that ramp, so I'll just put my kibble on. Run past it, don't get near it or it'll start aggroing you. Send attacking bees after you. Wait for it to climb up the hill. Get in front of it, and then run down. And press E multiple times really quickly as it gets close. You only got about a second before it stops feeding. It's trying to do a runner. There we go, another bee tamed. This hive is high up, hard to get to. So I'm going to go from above. There we go, that's not bad. It's above the hive. Set it on fire. Because it's right at the top of the hive, the queen bee will drop down. There it goes. All the other bees are dead. Right, where's it flying off to? Right, I'm going to follow it. Meet it down where it's at the ground. The bees come up the hill and got stuck in a rock. So just run in and press feed. And there's another one to add to my numbers. Okay, the final one I'll show you taming. Throw it at the top front. Set it on fire. It's just out of range of a torch. Use a flamethrower as the flame arrows don't work. Run out of the way. And we have two bees this time. To be or not to be. I prefer two bees. I want to follow them until they go on the ground. There we go. B incoming. Just wait till it to get low enough. That should do it. And then run in, keep pressing, and there we go. There's the first one. And there's the second one. Run in, click it, and we've got another. Just follow it. Wish it stays still after you've tamed it. Just grab it. And we're doing quite well on beehives. Oh, beehive. Sometimes you get no bees out of the hive, which is a bit weird. And the most queens I've seen is up to five. To feed them and make honey, grab the hive and put it on your hotbar, then place it on the ground. That's what it looks like. Then open it up and put wildflowers inside. So we've got pollen and it eventually make honey for you. It's annoying you have to have scorched earth just to make the oil jars. But if you're early on in game without many dinos, you can unlock them really quickly. And it's one of the safest and easiest ways to destroy the hive. So you can get loads of dire bears really quick. One of my favourite fluffy creatures. And that's how you tame bees with oil jars. If this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.